Zachariah, what can I do for you? You told me you learned where Scott was from mutants. You mind if I talk to them? Like to find out exactly what they saw. Have suspicions about your friend, Zachariah? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> None of my business, really. You can find them in Mutant Valley. They only pass through here to pass on some information to me, including the little tidbit about your friend. Thanks. I'm gonna go find him. What's the problem? The old man's story rubbing you wrong? A little, yeah. He's fucking weird, I know, but... Is he any weirder than usual? Sounds excited. Well, duh, the landscape's drop dead gorgeous. As for the city, integrating with the valley's natural overhangs and alcoves to avoid using a metal dome, pure genius. It makes me worry about getting fried. And we'll always be strangers there. For now, most mutants don't have an innate hatred for humans. We just need to give them time to heal. Still, we'll never be able to walk a mile in their shoes. For that, we'll always be outsiders. I ain't mad, though. If I were them, it'd be my personal mission to fuck up every single humanoid who said good day to me. Don't stress out about the roof. You won't be instantly mutated. I have heard tales. But yeah, what a beautiful place. Natural, organic, how refreshing. Humans should take notes. This city makes me sad. You're not gonna cry, are ya? I just had these seats cleaned. I mean... I think I would have liked to, you know, know before of its existence. It's all right. Sad is too grand used. Wistful, yes, wistful. By Jove, I've done it. Hey. Hello. How are you? Someone told me about you, so I wanted to come say thanks. Your instructions helped me save my friend. I'm just happy you got there in time. We would have helped ourselves, but feared letting humans know free mutants roam around. Don't blame you. You see what led to all of that? By the time I got there, they tortured my friend, and the Technomancer in charge was leaving. Found himself surrounded by the Technomancer and his soldiers, who wanted to know where they could find a man named Zechariah. You, I suppose. What did he tell him? Not the answer you are scared he gave. He said uh, nothing of your location. Instead, he told this other Technomancer that he knew who he was, but it did not seem to matter. The question was asked again. This time, your friend screamed back that he knew who he was, and that they must listen to him. That is when they began to beat him, and he began to scream for mercy. Mercy that would not come, even as he screamed that he could do something for them. The violence only grew. That is when we ran to warn Dandolo. What he was offering to do for them, I do not know. He never said. But it did not matter anyway. All they wanted to know was where you were. Nothing else to them mattered. The torture lasted for hours. Your friend may be not all there, but his loyalty cannot be doubted. Thanks, and thank you for going to Dandolo. Of course.
Scott, thanks for coming. Please have a seat. I'm just trying to understand something. Ah, a scientific query. Let us engage. No, not quite. I just wanted to understand what you were doing with Alan under that shadow path. A couple mutants saw you and said you told Alan that you knew what he was, and that you could do... Of course, the jackass didn't give a damn. All he wanted to know was where we were. But what the hell were you trying to do, Scott? Do? I wasn't doing. I simply... I was doing something, but not what... There are opportunities in life. He might have become an ally, a great technomancer. Even if you're not friends, he could... And I was... A mistake. Scott, how long have we known each other? How much do I owe you? You're like a father to me. You know that. And you can tell me anything. Yes! And, and you like a... like a... more than a son. Without... <laughs> without all the messiness of diapers and all of... I'm just a stupid, silly old man. It is... a rather laborious story. Some of which you know, some of which... It was... it was 17 years ago. With our corporation's unparalleled obsession with the perfect man, I... I, I found myself ensconced in gene research. My son. My flesh and blood son. I loved that child, cherished him like nothing else. But my work stole time from him, more and more. And when he was diagnosed with symptoms of the mutation, I, I disintegrated. As the best geneticist in abundance, I ensconced myself in research of its genome, discovering its mutation, and I heard whispers of tests the settlers had made, because they, too, had been coping with the chaotic mutative effects of the radiation. So, my friend, Mark, delivered me to a distant city, remote, nearly unlivable. I, I stayed there, pouring through their documents until one day, one day, I uncovered their work on a therapy which had only a singular side effect. It modified the human body's electrical production. Precisely. Technomancers are the result of a controlled genetic manipulation. Mutations instigated to protect us from more erratic mutations created by the radiation. A discovery I found myself racing to try out on my son. But first... I needed test subjects, so I volunteered to heal children in the slums. Found two young boys there to test its efficacy, and lo and behold, it worked! Andrew and me. Yes, yes! Your abilities were gained thanks to my experiments, but that was not all that was gained. I had proof that I could replicate the therapy, and, and that you know, now could resist other forms of mutations. From there, well, I secured a research budget from the military, who in turn assured me that they would return my son. But for him, it was too late. The experiment failed to help him, and I... I found myself with little choice but to end his suffering, rather than see him in a life of slavery, the life of a monster. And to the military, because I could not yet reveal what I knew, as I knew not yet what you were to become. Saw only my failure. I lost everything. Found myself socially exiled. And when Andrew's death came, you, you, Zachariah, became my only chance for success. My only chance to regain my past glory. So kept close to you for all these years, until you finally became a technomancer, my success, a chance for me to win back my approval, glory within abundance. I would be the man who created technomancers. We needed to escape. By seeing Alan, I had hoped to fix that, 
that they might take you back, and in turn, I, I might... Madness. The madness had overtaken me. Greed. Instead of being proud of my success in you, I only wanted more and more and... Forgive me. I... Leave me alone. Please. 